Hi, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon and today is another ad hoc morning hangout with Simon Day and I'm going to talk about all kinds of topics especially uh, clan politics and a couple of things and of course I hear myself from YouTube oh my god <laughs> let me pause this okay let me see if I can view all comments from um, this uh, YouTube right now guys if you have any questions you can ask me through uh, Facebook using the voice messenger on the Facebook application you can ask me question right now I'll play back using a speaker so that you can hear the, the playback of these um, questions and currently I have one um, Questions, I believe. Let me play this back. Hey, Simon Che. Um. Okay, that's a short one. Do uh, give uh, 30 second or less questions uh, in the Facebook application and uh, ask me questions right now. I'll play back immediately. So don't use any kind of vulgar language. Right, so uh, what I'm going to talk about the clan politics is something very important. Um, I'm I'm not very strict about the rules in my clans, but I do not want to run my clan like a company on the outside because there's no kind there's no profit uh, kind of driven kind of uh, method of running a clan. So I like to run the clan like um, a hobby, a passion kind of uh, organization instead like a philanthropy kind of organization. Uh, I do not want people to run it like a business. Um, I've, I'm 35 years old and I know how stressful if you are in a business. Uh, you need to meet the quota, you need to meet the, uh, the, the, the company standards and uh, in order to join a huge multinational company, you need to go through three kind of interview from the normal uh, written interview to the manager interview to the CEO man, uh, interview before you can even get accepted to a company so I do not want to run a, such organization a quota driven, trophy driven or even the donation driven kind of uh, clan so it's very stressful and uh, it's not for me if you are having a kind of uh, idea of what is a successful successful kind of clans uh, go ahead and do it but uh, if you are not, I mean, if you having a clan that have a limited number of members, and all of them are not very loyal, uh, it's not even successful at all. Because anyone at a moment's notice, they can just jump ship, just like a normal uh, business organization. Uh, your employees can become uh, employers overnight, and you know take all your customer away if you do not keep them happy or satisfied with their job. Right. So okay, next one. Hey Simon, um, I'm wondering if you can like look at my place and tell me what I need to do to it to make it like a better defense because okay. I don't know what to do and I have like a bunch of coins so yeah you can just tell me what to do and stuff. Okay, uh, please do let me know your uh, clan name first and the total clan trophies and what is the uh, batch of the, the, the design of your batch of your clan uh, post it in the Facebook message so I can actually play back uh, and, and you know I mean write it down don't, don't voice record write it down so I can find your clan and I'll be able to analyze what you can do or you can take a screenshot and post it to me I'll try to um, I'm, I'm trying to screen share it onto this uh, video so that I can let others know what I'm looking at do you have a screenshot or anything? Okay. Okay, uh, Mega Dan, I one two three four. I just uh, see you. Uh, and B Ball Toriel, hi. And any other questions? I can actually answer you guys. COC questions. <laughs> Hi, balloon. Okay, you can also uh, add me to my Facebook uh, at Samantha78. 
that means summon, uh, facebook.com slash summerday78 you can add me as friend and then message me using the Facebook application with a voice recorder you can press the plus button here and uh, press the uh, record voice and then you can just press and hold and you're actually recording voice and then release and you can actually play back uh, just like what I'm doing right now so in the YouTube I'll be able to see your question as well you can message me on the Facebook as well let me see if I have any other new messages okay uh, I got one from Yes, I look sleepy because uh, I didn't really sleep well yesterday and I woke up quite early in the morning about 5.30 to jog and exercise and weight lift and sit up and all that. Uh, I do that almost every weekday. <laughs> uh, in fact, to tell you guys the truth, I even tried to get a concealer, uh, you know those cosmetic concealer to conceal the black eye, uh, dark wings. But it's not really doing quite well now because I'm really, really tired right now. But um, I try my best to look better next time <laughs> and sleep more next time. Okay, uh, next question from Mos Afran. What's the best way to get dark elixir? And what is the best place to farm dark elixir? Um, that's a good question. First thing of uh, what I do with uh, dark elixir is not to spend it too liberally, not to buy too much, uh, train too much minions so that you can actually accumulate uh, you know, dark elixir. So second, you try to attack as much as often as possible and uh, next is uh, of course if you want to, you can actually accumulate three lightning spells and then steal uh, dark elixir from the high, um, you know, high uh, elixir players, that means people with high elixir but you do not necessarily need to win that particular match you just simply uh, steal their dark elixir and then run away with it. So uh, if you are a player with base, do not put your uh, dark elixir drill and the dark elixir storage side by side. Otherwise, it's a very, very uh, attractive uh, place to strike three lightning spells. Okay, from uh, Jimmy Zheng, I I'm going to... Uh, there's two places... Okay, I'm going to do a screen share using my Facebook and uh, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm looking at so that you better understand what I'm looking at let me see okay from here I can see that uh, let me screen share my iPad okay so guys you can see the, the iPad right now right Okay, so now I'm at um, the Facebook and I'm looking at the messages right here. Uh, okay, so this is a, one of the location. One of, okay, since I can't open this up, so I need to go to uh, an application to open this up. Usually I go for Sketchbook Express, Sketchbook X in the name of the application but sketchbook express okay cancel I'm going to make a new one and don't save and uh, let me see if I can do this quickly photo library and open up your base guys remember if you are sending um, oh this is a bit small but it's alright I can actually expand it Okay, so this is what you're looking at. So I try to make it so that I can. Okay, um, as you can see, this is a very basic um, level. I think level six or level seven. Level six or level seven uh, town hall based village, and uh, it's very easy to attack. You know why? Because every single direction is only one layer of wall to get to the resource and second layer is here and that's it that's that, that's not much of a defense your 
Mota Towers is not in an equilateral triangular, uh, that means equal distance among themselves. When you place your towers, try to place it in such a way that um, the longest distance uh, towers is the innermost of the base. And then subsequently the air defense is the second longest tower, then archer, then cannon, then wizard. So that you can overlap their uh, tower defense uh, range and uh, have an uh, equal distance among themselves. So you have uh, three towers, you have tri equilateral triangle, four towers is an equal square distance among themselves, a square shape positioning. And if you have five towers, it's a pentagon, six towers is a hexagon. So if you place in such a way right now, it is a little bit unbalanced. So any direction, for example, well, I, I go from the top left. Uh, there's not much of a towers to defense the top left. So it's a free uh, buffet for the collectors and the gold mine um, for the uh, goblins at the top left side. And there's not much uh, defense on that side. So if I were you, um, I'll try my best to uh, make a, a few more quadrants. You sacrifice a bit of uh, buildings on the outside. You don't need to place all the buildings on the inside of the base. Sacrifice a little. You know, you got uh, some of the walls on the outside here is a little bit waste um, because you can't really protect the this um, what do you call it army camp or barracks army camp army camp. You can't protect it because it's uh, it's open open uh, door over here on the right side, so people can just walk in. So why do you waste the the walls here? Might as well wall up a couple of small buildings so that the and place it uh, in, in equal direction of uh, around the base so that the wall breakers will be attracted to the buildings that's enclosed in the wall. So basically that's it for this uh, uh, this particular base defense. I'm going to do another base defense based on the Facebook. And uh, another one, another question is from Frank Ozaf. Okay, Frank Ozaf say don't say what I say. Okay, next is uh, Jason Nahu. Okay, who else actually asked me for that? Let me see. Jimmy Zheng. Jimmy Zheng actually asked for. Okay, this is the one. What you can improve on your defense? I'm going to save this photo and go back to the Sketchbook Express. And uh, let me clear this first. And open this photo library. And rotate this and expand it. I love my iPad because it's so flexible and all this application, even the Sketchbook Express is free and it's uh, very easy to handle. Okay, looking at this base, particular base, you can see that um, the resource in the center here is only behind a single wall on the top and the bottom. Uh, it's, it's slightly uh, easy to attack because now the wall breakers uh, actually avoid the wall spike. It does not even be attracted to wall spike. So this wall spike and this wall spike are, are actually and this one as well and this and uh, all the spiking are a waste of walls. Uh, you do not need to use that anymore unless you are trying to funnel the en uh, enemy troops to there. But the wall breakers can easily avoid them and uh, it is no longer a strategic uh, option. Even this wall spike on the top right as well. So it, it does not make any sense using the new wall breakers uh, artificial intelligence. And um, looking at this, the, the weak spot is the top left and uh, bottom right. And again, um, the strategic location of all the towers are a, a bit unbalanced you can see the cannon one two three is not in a triangle formation um, the arches is not in the uh, correct triangle formation you can put a, a triangle in the top like a downward triangle or a, a sharp uh, pyramid triangle but as long as they are equilateral triangle it is all right and if you place in the correct placement in the well balanced position even you have such a base it is still very well defended uh, due to the fact that um, the 
mortar and the archer and the cannon will fire at the same time at the same uh, positioning uh, like my old base but uh, if you place in a very unbalanced way certain type of uh, archers can attack maybe this area for example the archer have a range here and the cannon is ranged here and this can only cover up to here for both um, uh, this archer and cannon and the mortar may be around here so at this particular spot is the well most defended place this spot but if you place it in a well balanced position they might overlap um, together in three circles so that you have a much more wider overlapping that you know, it will be better defended if the enemy attack from a single direction here. You have three uh, towers defending at the same area, so it's much more better. So, I, I mean, this base, you need to think of a way to um, uh, lure the wall breakers so that you, it's much better to defend. Uh, come out with a new design and then ask me again, or I'll let you know uh, if it's good or not. So, uh, what's next? Okay, so Alex Walker and Joey Ozef just. Uh, you guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me loud and clear? Okay, I show the YouTube. Let me see. Do funneling walls still work with the new wall? Uh, new wall breaker AI. Yes, it, it does. The wall still. Uh, prevents the wall breakers from walking right through the walls, right? So if you have a funneling uh, option like a, a, a small gap, um, the wall breakers will still go right into it. But uh, if you do not have a wall breakers, for example, normal uh, barbarians uh, walk, uh, you know, normal troops, you still funnel into the gap of the walls. But the problem is whether you want to waste the walls for funneling. If you have enough walls to create more uh, enclosed buildings for example more uh, builders hut enclosed in the uh, walls to attract the wall breakers uh, is it a much better option than uh, wasting the walls to funnel uh, the troops okay next what was the next question from youtube um okay jimmy Sun, basically i already answered your questions uh frank ozef imi Oz, okay imi ozef i answer your question Dang Nguyen. Dang Nguyen asked me what do you think of the Dark Elixir troops. I think it is a waste of Dark Elixir because uh, those troops actually waste your Dark Elixir uh, preventing you to advance your Barbarian King and Archer Queen to a, a higher plane, a higher stage. Uh, but in the long run, if you upgrade the, uh, the Dark Barracks and the uh, Dark Troops uh, skills, I mean the, the levels in the laboratory, uh, they will uh, become a very formidable force in the future but do not keep spending that elixir on building the troops but level them up until they are higher level uh, before you use them in the future but now uh, focus more on the barbarian king and archer queen uh, to level them up permanently uh, and of course level up the dark troops as well uh, if you use the this uh, dark troops too liberally and, and waste them on donation uh, you will not go anywhere, you will not improve uh, permanent improvement of your your troops. Okay. <laughs> Next, uh, Simon Tate, did you talk about trying to make a night clan? Uh, I need to buy a new uh, device before I can create another clan. So currently, no, not at this moment. But maybe a one or two months later if I got the funding. Use Mary Kay time-wise for my eye. Uh, I'll try to look out for that. Um, is, is it a cosmetic? <laughs> okay, what's next? That base. <laughs> uh, Primetime Corporation, can you look at my base? Okay, do tell me your base clan name, total trophy of your clan, and your in game name. Why there's a glitch where the Hot Rider hits the wall? I haven't actually seen the glitch yet, so if anyone can point me the direction to see the glitch, maybe a YouTube, uh, I will comment on that. I'm playing playing Crash of Clans right now. Hi, Sad Stone. Uh, Reddit Kilo is the best 
Mega Dunk One Two Three Four. I believe you are uh, shouting out your your clan name, Reddit Kilo. Okay. Uh, let me see what other questions you have. Okay, let me see in the Facebook first. Okay, next. Is there any other question I like to talk about? Okay, I'm not going to answer questions uh, that in the Facebook um, page itself, but you can actually put in the instant messaging and of course on the YouTube. Uh, there's one thing about um, the basic rules of my clans. Uh, my basic rules of my clans is very simple. Just be nice. Uh, do not be rude. Do not be annoying. Do not on purposely donate things that people doesn't want. If you have the troops that people requested, just donate the troops uh, that people requested. If you do not have, just say you do not have and ask if you can donate something else. Uh, if you request for troops that people doesn't want uh, for example if you request for archers and people give you wizards for example or they give you barbarians or give you giants uh, do not complain uh, that you have the wrong troop because in some other clans you do not have even a single troop right so basically that is uh, my basic rules do not be annoying donate at least uh, five troops in a week and you have no trophy limitation there's no donation uh, numbers quota to meet and I, I want people to enjoy the game, not to feel stressed about this game, not to uh, become the top uh, clan in the whole of uh, Singapore or whole of the world or whole of the Supercell leaderboards. Because um, I know the cost of uh, being the number one uh, top clan is you will definitely be very highly pressured to perform in such a clan. And I, I don't want my clan members to feel stressed because a lot of them have full-time job, full-time uh, education, uh, their real life behind them. I do not want their parents to confiscate their their iPhone, iPad, you know, just because they are playing too much. They need to have a balance in their life and basically make sure that, uh, uh, you know, you have a balance. Uh, that's why I always talk about uh, things about balance. Okay, now I'm going to review another clan. Uh, Village first one is uh, Mimic Monkey Gaming from the Reddit Kilo. Uh, name is Jack Jack Clan. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna talk about something. This uh, as if Daharis. Uh, if you are being rude or being, <laughs> uh, very annoying. I I think you should just leave the Facebook group and unfriend me if you want to. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> uh, I don't kick you out because it's not my my type. I I like to forgive for people who say things that are rude, and I uh, hope you can give me an idea or suggestion whether I can improve or not. Right. So now I'm gonna do a screen share on this uh, clan review. Hold a minute. Screen share. And this particular uh, base that I'm going to review right now is uh, Reddit Kilo. Okay, R E D D I T K I L O, Reddit Kilo, and search. So I believe Reddit Kilo is the first one with the 50 50 members with the Jake clan. Jake clan. Name is Jake. Okay, the first one this is a uh, top. Trophies, one thousand five hundred fifty-one trophies. Can you guys hear me? If cannot, do let me know. Okay, looking at this, this particular base. Uh this is a farming base. It's uh because the town hall is out. You get a free shoe, which is good. And. If you attack in all directions, you will break at least, uh, for example, maybe I take a screenshot will be better so that you guys can better understand what I'm talking about and go to the sketchbook express. Guys, I'm um, sorry, it might take five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, I lied. <laughs> ah, okay. 
come on. I'm going to talk until like 10 o'clock. Um, hopefully, I can do it by then. Okay, so looking at this base, it is uh, relatively, not say easy to attack. But since the Warbreaker's AI has changed, uh, I'm not sure whether the spike in between or all, all these are workable. But I believe there are spring traps right between all this uh, pathway. Um, either spring traps or more, uh, minor bombs. Um, I do remember that the goblins will run and run past um, uh, the spring trap because spring trap have a delay uh, activation. So uh, try to um, put the storage and uh, the towers in alternate fashion. So you, you do not have uh, one, two towers side by side. You should have one towers, one resource, one towers, one resource um, in such a manner so that the spring trap will not be uh, triggered by the goblins rushing by and uh, does not stop there uh, and the spring trap does not work uh, um, in a such a fa fashion um, but if you want to you you want to um, fully protect your resource at the center of the base you can also close some of these uh, uh, sites you know you have some wasted walls on the top left you can actually close some of these uh, cubicles to uh, uh, expand some of the wall breakers to break them uh, if they are not a spring trap uh, 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 booby trap there is that if there's no booby trap I remember bombs have a delay uh, activation as well so try to um, use spring trap in such an option if because what a single bomb doesn't really affect does not damage those level 5 troops that much unless you are using a giant bomb um, uh, spring trap is more effective for giants, uh, uh, springing giants away, and uh, in that sense, this is one one thing that you have to take note of. So the total resource, the elixir storage over this side, only takes two wall breakers. That means the uh, level five wall breakers two times to break into it and get access to the inner part of the base. But I'm not saying it's bad. The positioning of the the mortar towers is good it's in a triangle formation not exactly equilateral but it's still a triangle formation um, the archer is the archer is uh, a little bit unbalanced four archers over here it should be a square formation and archers is actually longer range than cannon uh, so it should be at the inner side of the base so the cannon should be uh, on the outside because they have one tower um, the archer at one tower longer range than the cannon so you should put the archers uh, in the second layer within the base and uh, the the cannon should be slightly on the outside and wizards it, it is depending on your own preference wizard can be placed beside the storage or you can place on the outside to prevent wall breakers from coming in together with hidden tesla uh, but of course this is based on your own preference and I guess this is a, a, a pretty decent uh, a base. It's not um, super amazing, but it's still uh, there, there's a certain amount of traps, uh, hidden traps that are uh, able to defy some of the attackers, uh, which may or may not be effective. But overall, I don't believe anyone can three star this base uh, uh, always, unless you have a flying unit and your air defense uh, over here and here are taken out. And you you are overwhelmed by air defense. Otherwise, uh, this base is pretty pretty alright. Mm, yeah, you still need uh, more uh, more walls to make small cells of enclosed walls to attract the wall breakers. But that is a secondary thing. Because some people have different opinions on that. Well, and what else can I check on? Uh, next is uh, next. Base, the clan is Future King and name is e, is a uh, eventual guy eight zero five. Let me double check this. Future Kings. Search clans. Future Kings. 
Okay, guys, Future Kings, there's uh, one of them on the top. I believe this is the one, and uh, the name is Eventual Guy 805. Where are you, Eventual Guy 805? Uh, I can't find you, Eventual Guy 805. Did I miss it? Okay, uh, there's a couple of voice messages from here. Hey, um, he's trying to say, uh, um, Amy's little brother, Joey, I would like to, to you my place a little, uh, probably join your clan someday, and that's all I wanted to say, thanks, uh, bye. Uh... Guys, uh, future kings, uh, please place how much trophies you have and how do I find you, future kings? Uh, I can't really find you. So, uh, up to next. Next is uh, one of them is uh, this uh, Joey Osaf. Let me go to Facebook. One of them actually asked me to review their base using the instant messaging. And there you have it. Save photo and go to Sketchbook Express. Give me a couple of seconds to open up this photo library. This by uh, Joey Osaf. Okay, done. And cause uh, look at this base. There's uh, one major flaw is the top side when you attack from top left side. You can see that um, the enemy only need to need, needs to break like two walls. One is uh, this area and one is this area and one is this area. So after that, it's off uh, free flow of uh, the storage. So it's a, a little bit tough for you to defend unless you have some kind of giant bombs or hidden tester. Uh, it's a little bit too close to the edge, so dropping of troops is like instantaneously. Uh, the wall breakers will instantly touch the walls. Your your towers are nowhere near there to defend, and of course your air defense is too near to the wall. Uh, a simple archers will actually clear the air defense off, and a little bit of minions or uh, maybe a balloon will will be very dangerous to this base. Uh, actually, it's very tough to defend in such a way. Uh, is it possible to make it that the air defense tower a little bit centralized? Maybe here, um, sacrifice a little bit of your elixir collector and put it offside, so that your air defense will be better suited for this. Um, currently, your storage and your town hall is a little bit uh, a little bit too exposed. That's the only flaws I, I'm looking at, and um, the towers is also a little bit uh, off because the mortar is the one that will. Um, uh, will not fire for enemy enemy that is too close to the mortar fire. Uh, you, you, if you touch on the mortar, there's a red circle uh, range. Those are the area where if the, uh, for example, the barbarians are too close to the mortar, the mortar will not actually target them and the mortar will be taken down easily. So if you put the mortar too close to the edge, it's very easy for archers or any giants to come close and just wipe it out. And basically your base are defenseless in that sense. So try to uh, move your your towers in a triangle formation. If you have three um, three towers, I, I mentioned this again and again. But try to balance your towers, right? Uh, basically, try to revamp this so that um, I can get a better look on this. Frank Ozaf also asked me to review. Okay, there's a lot of questions on. Okay, uh, there's a lot of questions here. Review my place? Really, I need you to review my place. Hey, Simon Tay, um, can you please review my place? You're like the only one, like, I mean, the one that didn't review my place by my two brothers. <laughs> Come on, please review my place. 
Okay, Frank uh, Ozef, I will review your base as requested, and uh, now I'm saving it to Sketchbook Express. And give me a second to open up your base. It will take some time, so guys, uh, if you have a queue of base you want me to review, uh, do let me know. Uh, hold on a minute. There's so much a uh, base to review on. Okay, now I'm going to review this base. First off, um, you have a base with uh, buildings that is far away from the defensive structures. This is one thing I always mention many times. Uh, buildings that are far away from defensive structures will be a very easy uh, option for the enemy to lure the enemy reinforcement troops out of the clan castle and to be destroyed externally. So if you place too many of these buildings so far away, it is so easy to clear the clan reinforcement troops. And uh, <laughs> there's a couple of uh, major flaws here. You can see your re uh, gold storage is actually exposed and this is the higher level gold storage compared to the inner gold storage. So this is something you need to take note of. The mortar fire, uh, mortar cannon should be within the inner part of your base because it's higher range. So try your best to put all your towers within the walls. Uh, if you do not put your uh, those towers within the walls, there's no much of a, a, a protection. Uh, once the enemy take you know take them out, your whole base can be wiped out 100%. Uh, this is uh, based on experience. So uh, if you have a couple of uh, towers, upgrade them and put it within the walls. And the highest range is the mortar. Second highest range is the air defense is exposed as well. This is you have to put it inside at a, almost the middle of the part of the base. And if and of course um, later is the archers and then the cannon and the wizards in that formation. So currently all you need to do is take out this uh, town hall. You might lose trophies. You might lose the the particular battle, but you will protect your resource and. Try to put your resource near to the center as well, so that it's not within the archer range. You know, the archer range when they launch archer uh, to the side, you will not be able to get this uh, elixir core, uh, storage. And all this uh, small area, this is um, elixir collector and gold mine does not have the amount of storage that uh, that the star uh, gold and elixir storage have. So they are less priority to protect so try to either sacrifice and put them outside the wall only when you have enough walls to protect them then you protect this uh, uh, elixir collector and gold mine and uh, this is very important to note as well and uh, this uh, laboratory is nothing important it can be placed outside of the wall as well um, important is your uh, towers your uh, defensive towers your elixir storage uh, and your clan castle try to put it inside the base as well because putting outside is just simply let people lure it out of the, the clan castle, the troops and then destroy. That's not much of a defense. Uh, most of uh, most of the clan castle reinforcement if people donate uh, long range attack for example minions or uh, archers they can actually stay inside the base and shoot outside when the enemy attacks. So if you put your clan castle in the middle um, the the uh, defensive uh, troops will be able to help you on uh, defending your base. Okay, so next, let me see if I have another questions. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do go back to YouTube and see what. Okay, I can hear you fine, Flammy. Okay. Flammy, can you review my base? I'm not Flammy, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, guys, I'm not Flammy. Flammy is in another YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a little bit too many base I need to review and it's about 9.42 a.m. right now. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, now I'm going to put priorities to people who ask me questions in voice in the Facebook. If you have my Facebook, uh, uh, add me in the Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash simonday78. Okay, guys, any other voice messages?
Uh, I said Lindsay. I'm not Flammy. Uh, I'm Simon Tay. So um, <laughs> if you're asking me to review your base, uh, I'm not Flammy. So try to ask me in terms of my name. My name is Simon Tay, not Flammy. <laughs> oh, so funny. Uh, okay, I just added you. Uh, someone just added me. So. <laughs> Uh, Aaron, I got two groups right now. I got one for Clash of Clans. The other group is for the blockheads I just created. Okay, someone actually sent me a voice messaging uh, from Facebook right now. This is a. Uh, oh. Hi Simon. Um, I know Tom is zooming, but can you review my base? My clan is Reddit Kilo, and my name is Dang Win. Thanks. Okay, Dan Nguyen, I just uh, hear your voice and I'm going to review your base right now. So let's go to it. Dan Nguyen, let me check it out. Dan Nguyen. This is your base. I know it's time consuming, but I love to get their base to be on a video. Let me double check. Save the photograph and go to Sketchbook Express and let me double check this uh, open this up give me a second uh, Dan Nguyen um, a, a few seconds as <laughs> to review your base show okay from here I can see this base is a couple of nice uh, wall uh, cubicles to attract the wall breakers from the bottom side uh, Okay, I know that the air defense is outside, but it's uh, upgrading, so maybe it's logical to put there. But try to put it near to the defensive structure, so the enemy, when the enemy attack with archers, a uh, single archers can get rid of any buildings that is not defended uh, away from the tower. Um, so if you put it near to any defensive structures, uh, at least uh, you'll take one or two, um, one or two. Let me see if I can get this straight. Hold on a minute. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, from the bottom side, you can see the air defense tower is actually uh, not well defended. The buildings at the bottom side. So, if you can put it near maybe to this cannon, you can have a, a, a couple of uh, troops wasted on uh, the buildings on the outside of the base uh, so that you have a better chance of uh, defending against the main. Uh, you know the, the the main resource stor storage on the center, so uh, I'm I'm looking at this and try to figure out what is the weaknesses, where is the weaknesses of this base. So if you attack from the bottom, uh, maybe at the bottom here, you need to break uh, one wall here, one wall at the side and side here. So you need to break three walls before the fourth wall to get to the center. By the time, uh. This is one direction, it's very strong because you need to break one, two, three, four, four walls to get to the middle. But if you attack from the left and the right, you need to break one walls, two walls, three walls. So three walls before you meet with the giant bombs. And uh, same thing with here, one, two, and uh, three, maybe four. Yeah. So it's quite quite strong on the left and right, looking at the, the giant bombs. And the... Uh, the mortar towers is very very well positioned because it's in a triangle formation and the archer the, the air defense is well positioned as well. I like it very much. Um okay, this is very cool. Uh the only thing the downside is this uh cannons are too focused on the top side. You have about five cannons, so you should place in a position that is like a pentagon shape. But there's no fast rule here because uh, it is weak here, as you can see here. You only take to break one or two walls to get to the center. So more cannons there probably will help, but um, no guarantee. As you can actually distract very easily all these uh, defensive structures uh, to place the wall breakers and attack from the top side. So you need to uh, put some traps here if you can. Uh, some spring traps to prevent the the wall breakers from coming in especially the the nearest to the wall breakers when you attack from the top you know that you you know that uh, you know they will go to the nearest wall 
that is being and uh, nearest building that's enclosed by the walls and the walls that is the nearest is this uh, corners so maybe you can put some spring trap there I, I'm not quite sure but this is a pretty well defended base I, I, I like it very much but um, it's just a little bit unbalanced in the tower so all the directions have a little bit of uh, uh, even though your walls are positioned in such a way that it is uh, uh, good for the wall breakers yes but you can notice here is still a single layer on the left and right it's still a single layer of wall so that anyone with a rage spells can go right through here for example and and uh, maybe or drop a rage spells and break through the, this particular wall on the left and the right and uh, you will uh, get to the center even without wall breakers so this is one thing you need to take note of um, try to have a more balanced position of your towers so that all directions you have a better chance of uh, defeating the uh, oncoming attack right so basically that's it for this particular base Dang Nguyen uh, Christian Craig I just added you next questions next base that I want to uh, review is uh, okay Brian can too let me play back this hey Simon um I've been a viewer of your videos for a while, and I just wanted to know if you could um, review my base. It would mean a lot. Um, watching your live show right now, so yeah, please review my base. Uh, let me see. Brian, can you? I can't really hear you, but uh, I will review your base since you asked ask me the questions in voice messaging in my Facebook. So uh, let me check it out your Facebook. Uh, Brian can too. This is your base. And Sketchbooks Express. Let me clear this off and open up this photo library and camera roll. Give me a second. We'll take this free transpond. And done. Okay, looking at this space, uh, again, there's a couple of buildings. A lot of people actually say that uh, putting buildings at the edge uh, to prevent the 100% destruction of your base. Somehow, again, I uh, agree to disagree. Sometimes people uh, are, who are very well versed in attack, you attack 100 battles, you know this trick already. So um, people just put one single troop on, on each building and what they do is they attract the the reinforcement troop out and and they attack um, those reinforcement troop on the outside of the base so uh, why why give people the chance to do that <laughs> uh, so my well put it near to add all the defensive structures so that you at least waste them uh, one or two troops or three troops to attack the outside uh, buildings uh, I treat the outside buildings as punching back so the more people punch you the the more troops they lose uh, because they are near to any defensive structures okay next let me check the mortar towers is in triangle formation it's not exactly equilateral triangle but uh, it's still acceptable uh, the air defense is in the center is cool I, I like it because it's not easy to deploy minions uh, on that uh, this particular base and I like it, the the fact that you have a lot of quadrants of uh, buildings within walls uh, in a small quadrant is very very good because you attack from any direction is uh, not easy uh, using wall breakers. You need to break one walls, two walls, three walls, four walls, five walls to get into the center of the base. So it's not easy and the mortar you need to break five walls to break to the center and the mortars will mow you down very very quickly uh, but looking at the resource uh, it's all in separate quadrant of the base so even if you um, invade into the base uh, you only get maybe one quarter of the resource this is very uh, I would say very good idea to put but obviously you need to take note of is uh, if they have a high okay this base is I, I think it's one of the better strategic base I, 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 I like it a lot I like it a lot mm. the cannons the archers is in well position uh, except probably this archers is uh, not well upgraded 
you know it's it's not it's not very um low but maybe you can just upgrade them uh you got it's good that uh unfortunately you have a third storage the gold storage if you have additional uh, third storage on a level eight town hall uh, unfortunately for you, you need to pre uh, protect that particular storage or you can use it as a bait if you want to put it outside and put traps around it it's up to you uh, do not upgrade the, the the spare storage upgrade all the elixir collector and gold mine you get a four million uh, capacity four million capacity um, but it's up to you you want to protect your elixir collector or gold mine it's up to you this space I highly recommend it. In fact, I, I probably will try it out myself and see how effective it is. It's just that the the, the buildings on the outside, uh, I will probably put nearer to uh, maybe my defensive uh, towers, uh, so that I, I I get a little bit of uh, protection um, from there. Right. So next. Next question, Matthew. Okay. Uh, let me go back to normal question. Okay, Matthew Gino Viz actually asked me in Facebook, uh, what would you like to see in the future of Crash of Clans? Also, Formosor 11DG from SimonVideo.com and the top three donor. Okay. Okay, what I'd like to see in the future Crash of Clans is very simple. Fix the elder system or whatever system you want, Supercell, please. Please do not let elders promote another person as elders because it's totally. Uh, I I give you one example in a in a corporation or organization outside in the company settings. Uh, imagine once you promote a a person as a manager who have the power to sack everyone. Uh, can have the ability to promote uh maybe a junior uh employee as manager for example, and this junior ma manager. Will come out and say, "Hey guys, everyone out of the company right now," you know, and the whole company just collapse. There's no such thing in the real world organization. There's no such thing. So, Supercell, please get rid of this permission uh, for elders to promote another elders. They have the power to kick everyone out of the base or the the, the this particular clan, right? So this is one thing I hope the developer can do, uh, so that you have a better. A permission status like for example if you're gonna promote someone as elders at least get a permission of that leader uh, before the the this guy can be promoted right so uh, this is one thing I like to come up with this is a basic basic uh, way of uh, solving this this problem of elders otherwise I, I will not have uh, the I, I cannot take the risk again to get everyone kicked out of the base <laughs> Hello, Simon Day. Can you help my brother and me to review our base? Okay, Chiu Cheng just asked me whether I can review the base. Uh, let me give it a try. From Facebook, so I actually queue it up based on uh, the the. Um. Okay, so Chiu Cheng, let me go to the screen sh screen share again. Start the screen share. Uh, is this the correct one? Okay, so let me save this one. Save photo and save photo. Chiu Cheng. Let me go to Sketchbooks Express and give me a second to queue this up. The first one is this one, and I can add another one. Photo library and camera roll, and the last one is this one. Give me a second. Uh, okay, I, I guess I'm gonna do this is rotate this and done. Okay, over this, rotate this, and there you are. Booms, booms. Okay, let's review this particular base. Uh, first thing, this uh, town hall is uh, outside of the base, which is to get the shield, but it's a little bit too far. Uh, yeah, you'll definitely get a shield, but 
if I were you, uh, like just like any buildings that is outside the base, I would like to put it near the the defensive structure so that you can get at least uh, a few troops from uh, the enemy force, so that you they will not you know use one single barbarians to destroy this town hall and you know <laughs> it's it's not that uh, uh you do not like kill them at least give them ten troops to get rid of this town hall so that you reduce the risk of attacking the rest of the base uh, that much. Another thing is your air defense is outside the base. Uh, I hope you can put your air defense inside since the minions are flying unit. Uh, this is one uh, flaw that um, is very common. It's not, not saying not common, it's very common. At least one high level air defense should be within the inside the middle of the base. Uh, I understand you have uh, three storages. This is uh, unfortunate. If you can get the uh, the last uh, the last level storages and put it outside the base, you know if you upgrade all your go uh, elixir collector and gold mine, you get four million uh, uh, the capacity uh, even without the third storages. So unfortunately, you already built the third storages for this uh, level eight town hall. So. Um, you need to put the lower and uh, lower level storage outside of the base or near the outside of the base um, because it's not worth it. I'd rather you upgrade the rest of the elixir collector and go mine, but unfortunately, you already bought it. And uh, because the air defense, and uh, I like the, the, the fact that you have a lot of quadrants, you if you attack from any direction. You'll be you'll be to the wall breakers will have to break a couple of walls like one two three four before they reach the center of the base. Uh, from here is one two three four five, then the center of the base. From here is one two three four five, from here is one two three four five. So this is a uh, I would say a, I would say a quite a good uh anti wall breaker base. But one thing you need to take note of is the number of buildings that is outside the base. Um. Yeah, you, you, you probably get two stars, but you'll be able to protect a little bit of your resource. Um, because all your resource is at the center of the base. So once the enemy clear off maybe one, two, three, four, and then maybe they use uh, rage spells to clear off the outside of the base. And then before that, then they, they, they try to uh, drop the, uh, the wall breakers. Maybe they have the chance to uh, go in and raid your center of base, or they use the lightning spells, three lightning spells to clear off uh, the middle part. So you, you can see your mortar is slightly closer together. Uh, this part is very vulnerable to lightning spells. So if you can uh, you know, spread them a little bit further, maybe you'll be better. Otherwise, this is a pretty cool anti wall breakers uh, base. Yep, this is uh, a. It's very similar to my base, just without the quadrant in the middle, uh, which it, uh, I'll probably will take out the quadrant for myself as well, so and, and test it out whether it works. Uh, there's a lot of people actually say that my base is also quite vulnerable to uh, you know, normal attacks, uh, and, and because my towers are not in the, 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 the right formation like my previous base, uh, but I still have to test out uh, my current base to see the effectiveness. Currently, it's, it's still pretty cool right now. So um, I see I haven't seen a, a, a wipeout of a 3-star yet for my current base. So this base is definitely good. Um, you'll not be able to 3-star it. Um, but if, if it does, do let me know, right? So this is a cool anti wall breaker. Just the air defense is exposed. Try to get the air defense towers in and you'll be set. OK, next. OK, uh, this one. I'm going to clear this one. For this particular base, let me expand this up. Okay, for general, done. Okay, for this particular base, you can see that um, this, uh, okay, the air defense is inside, is good, but it's still within one layer of wall. Um, it's easy to break at the side with the giants. Okay, the town hall is uh, at the side is all right. It's near to the defensive structure is okay. The mortar towers is in a triangle formation is all right. And uh, but the, as I said, 
from here you can see the, the resource storage are very close together. Lightning spells can get rid of them together with at least one of the Motar Towers and your reinforcement troops as well. Uh, too close together, uh, but that is the, the plan, then it's a bit tough. Okay, from here uh, you can see that um, if you break the side of the wall here, it's one wall, two wall, three wall, but if you put, put the wall breakers further away from this side, maybe just one wall and two walls, like here as well, one walls, or uh, just one wall and two walls, uh, one wall and if you pull it here, maybe one wall and two walls. So the weak spot is uh, this area, if they drop in the wall breakers, uh, it is uh, more vulnerable. If you can close the gap here or maybe here, it's slightly better, but it depends on you whether you want to do it or not. Mm. Well, basically that is the idea, but the, the idea now is uh, whether you want to sacrifice one of the gold mine or the, one of the collectors so that you can have additional more walls to close off so that your top left and the top uh, right and left is more uh, secure with a slightly uh, additional wall cubicles to attract the wall breakers. And of course the air defense, at least one of them must be within the center of the base. Otherwise, it's, uh, the, the minions will get you very quickly. Well, basically for this particular base is over. Let me get back to the question and answer. Uh, okay, let's get back to the YouTube questions. Do you have any questions from the YouTube? Um, okay, the time now is 10 a.m. So <laughs> I'm not going to do any more uh, base uh I'm not going to do any more base uh, review. So, any more questions they can answer from directly using voice? <laughs> uh, Babylon Toriel, uh, where do you spam the questions? Let me see. Are you Alex Walker? Um, you will have to send me uh, not through the Facebook post but send me through instant messaging. You need to add me as friends so that I'll be able to see you, your instant messaging uh, questions. Okay, that's one of them. Just added questions. Okay, any more questions you can ask me. I'm going to close this very soon. Troop donation. Post operation. Okay, uh, Leighton McNamara asked me, do, do I use gems? Yes, only $5 gems for the 4th Builder Hearts because I, I usually get the gems through achievement and clearing, clearing of trees. Uh, my method of playing Clash of Clans is not to be stressed on the gems, uh, not to use it to you know speed up things, but on the Builder's Heart, it's a permanent upgrade. I hope the developer can think of a way, maybe add the 6 or 7 uh, builder's heart and that is a permanent upgrade which I believe is more useful than uh, speeding up the, you know, making the training time longer to make people use the gem is, is not very nice. I, I like builder's heart to actually uh, do upgrades simultaneously so you actually save time. Yep, that is the only place where I use the gems. I'm waiting for the trees to grow now so I can get 2,000 gems for my fifth builder hut. Okay, next question. Uh, what running shoes? Um, I missed that question. I'm so sorry. Guys, uh, for the YouTube, I'm reading the questions right now. Uh, Leighton Magna, your COC is getting hacked. Did you uh, give the uh, Game Center password to someone else? Those uh, hack hackers say they hack the Clash of Clans, but they are not hacker. Uh, they are not hacking Clash of Clans. They are hacking you. So if you have encountered people asking you to give them their Game Center name and password, do not believe them. Do not answer any surveys. They will try to hack you through the surveys because usually passwords are from your personal uh, name, your birthday and all that and they can actually analyze those surveys and get 
to know your password and hack your game center and hijack your game uh, from your cash out cans. So try not to uh, hack cash out cans and uh, give away all the information uh, to others. So if your COC is getting hacked, try to go to game center and try to reset your password and uh, the resetting of password, I'm not quite sure, uh, I have to check out with Apple, uh, Google it and how to reset your password on Game Center and most likely your Game Center is registered to your email account so they will send resetted password to your email and after that your Game Center will be back. Do not use the same password again, change to another password, combine with multiple passwords together that you can remember or uh, do it in such a way and do not use the same password throughout email, throughout Game Center, throughout any other uh, forums. Do not use the same password repeatedly on multiple platforms. Right, so try not to uh, uh, believe in hackers who hack games. Uh, this uh, cash out clans is not ethical, it's not good, so don't do it. Right, so okay, basically that's it for this one hour uh, ad hoc. Uh, morning hangout with Simon Tay. So I, I really thank you guys for coming in and uh, 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 watching this video and of course do comment in the comment section below. I'll try to answer more questions offline and of course do remember to share this video to people who haven't watched uh, my reviews before and this is a, a, a hope to be a regular event for Clash of Clans uh, instead of a pre-recorded uh, review of base I'm going to do this live so that it's much more personal and easy to understand. Of course, you can ask me questions on uh, Facebook directly using voice recording. And uh, of course, remember to subscribe to this channel so I can, can bring you more uh, videos in the future. Right. So thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye.